Well folks, let's take an old scanner. This is the same one that I chose last week to hack my smartphone to shoot macro videography video. So if you lost it, you find the link here in the up screen. So today we are looking instead for a very interesting circuit that is inside of it. Every old scanner has one because it can light up the neon tube that is inside. And this very small circuit can multiply the voltage because we start from 12 volts and we go about 2000, 3000 volts. But is isn't dangerous because the amperage is very small. So just like this it can be a cool project because we can place the light everywhere inside by the room, maybe behind the screen somewhere to light the keyboard but today isn't this a project we need to chop it off so use some scissors to cut the wires away let's take now a couple of stainless steel pins these have to go inside the rubber of the copper cable and we do the same thing on both cables on the right and on the left just like the electrodes of a taser these have to go inside the plastic container because i don't want to burn myself so i choose this old portable fan, but you can also use a TV remote controller, a broke one, to put everything inside. Yes, because the dimension is pretty the same, so remove all the components that aren't necessary. To power the circuit on, I, we can use a DC adapter or a very small battery. This is a 12 volt battery, it is usually used to open the garage or the door to the garage. So we can just hook up the cables and the connection is this, we have a button, we have a female connector to take 12 volts and the schematic is very simple. So when we push the button, we can activate the circuit. So place everything inside the container. I'm pretty lucky because the dimension is, is exactly the same. Even the height and the width can go inside. Now I only have to put the female connector in place and maybe secure it with some glue and the same thing with the push button. I made, I made two little holes where I can insert the stainless steel pins inside. And now that the position is very important because the two pins have to touch almost, have to be a couple millimeters of distance between them. So I can use some hot glue to secure everything in place. Now that the glue is dry, I can put the cap on and make sure that close okay. Yes, I'm pretty happy on the result. So I decide to paint everything in black to make cooler design, a cooler project. I just have to put the connector inside and push the button. So we can create a plasma that is 3000 volts of power, but isn't dangerous because the amperage is very, very low. Well folks, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, so I like, it's very appreciated. And as always, I leave you with my two previous videos. So how to make a ring light starting from pieces of a scanner and also how to make the best flying toy ever. You need only a bottle and a nice girl. So check them out and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao.